Hi, I'm Matthew Alexander, and today I'm going to demo an enhancement we've made to the ClearQuest Import Wizard for Rational Team Concert 4.0.1. That enhancement is the ability to export your ClearQuest records into a comma-separated value file, or CSV file. I'm going to start off by showing you how to export your CQ records as a CSV file, and then I'm going to explain why you may want to do that. So I'm going to start off with exporting my records. And if you've already used the existing ClearQuest import wizard, the process is going to be almost identical. You're going to start off by creating a query in ClearQuest. I've created one here that selects just five records. And then to choose which fields you want to import into Rational Team Concert, you do that with your ClearQuest query display fields. And for my simple demo, I've included the fields headline, project, description, notes log, and owner. So now I've created my query in ClearQuest. I'll go to Team Concert and actually export those records into a CSV file. So in Team Concert, I'll go to File, Import. Under the Team folder, I'll go to ClearQuest Records. And I'll click the Next button. This is the ClearQuest Import Wizard. And if you've used it before, it should look pretty much the same, except for this option here to save as CSV data. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my ClearQuest credentials. You see I've already selected the query that I created and then I'll export the CSV data into this records.csv file. Now that that's run, I'll verify that the records file was created. It is created, and I'll show you what it looks like. The most important thing to note is this first line in the file. This uh, should contain all the fields that were your query display fields in ClearQuest, also including the DBID field and the ID field. But the ones you want to really pay attention to are the headline field, project, description, notes log, and owner field and make sure that those correspond to what you specified in ClearQuest, and those do. And then you'll see your five records displayed with their values separated by commas. And this chunk here looks kind of odd, but this is the comments field that I exported. That just happens to be in XML format, so that looks a little different, but everything else looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and import those records into Rational Team Concert. And to do that, you'll use the existing CSV importer. So go to File, Import, go to that Team folder again. This time I'm going to pick Work Items from CSV. And right here in the first field, I'll specify that records.csv file I created. And my values are separated by a comma, so I'll choose that. And they're going to be imported into this project area I've created called CQ Import. They're going to create new work items, and then you have to specify a mapping file. Now, to do that, you'll want to first click on this Save Default As link, and it will create a default mapping file for you, but you're going to have to customize it to match your ClearQuest instance. And I've, go, I've gone ahead and customized mine already, and you can see how the fields are mapped to Rational Team Concert. For example, this headline field, that's my field name that comes from ClearQuest, and it's in my CSV file. It's mapped to this com.ibm.team.workitem.attribute.summary field. So that's the summary field in Rational Team Concert. It's going to be mapped to my ClearQuest headline field. The description field in ClearQuest is going to be mapped to the description field in Team Concert. Those just happen to have the same name. In ClearQuest, my comments field is known as a notes log. That's the actual field name if you look at it in ClearQuest Designer. That's going to be mapped to the Rational Team Com Concerts Comments field, and so on. So you will have to work on that to make sure that it's going to be, it's going to have to be customized just to your needs. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click the Finish button to import these records. And you'll see that the Records have been created, and the values they had in ClearQuest are there. Even the comments made it over into Team Concert. 
One limitation is you can't import attachments using the CSV importer. So that's the difference between the the XML importer that we have already had existing and the new CSV exporter for ClearQuest. Now you may be wondering, we have that existing ClearQuest import wizard that had the XML option. You may be wondering, well, why do we even need this option? Why did we even bother creating it? The answer is that right now the existing XML ClearQuest import wizard does not have the ability to update records. So if you run the, the if you import records once using the XML format and then do it again a second time, you'll just have a second batch of records imported and double the amount of records. The CSV importer happens to have the option to import records and only update them if they already exist. So if you want to update records, if you've imported records and then you want to update them, you can do that using the CSV importer. And I can, I'll walk you through how to do that right now. What you would do is I'm going to go back to my records.csv file. Now you'll probably be editing this into a spreadsheet, so it'll be a little bit easier for you. But if you, if you, I don't happen to have a spreadsheet on this machine, but if you did, you'd create a new column and name it capital I lowercase d for ID. And I'm going to go ahead and I've got this. This is from my ClearQuest, but I'm going to go ahead and change it just to, for the purpose of this demo. So you're going to have this ID field, and that's going to need to map to the work item number in Rational Team Concert. So I'm going to go ahead and you'll see that the five records were created happen to be ID number 405 to 409. So I'm going to go ahead and change these. So if you were doing this in a spreadsheet, you could just copy and paste those ID numbers and drag down and have them autofill. But just for the demo, I'm going to go ahead and edit these. So I have an ID column, capital I lowercase d, that corresponds to my work item ID numbers, 405, 06, 407, 408, 409. So I'm going to, before I save this, I'm going to change one of the fields just so that we can see that if we do this again if the records are really updated. And so for this last record here, I'm going to just insert the word edited in all caps. And if the CSV importer updates it correctly, we should see that after we get done importing them. So go back to team concert and then go to file import that team folder again, the work items from CSV again. And this time, I'm going to select the same file, but I'm going to click this Update Matched Work Items option. And so what this will do is it'll say if this work item, it'll look at that ID field, and if the record already exists, it, will, it won't import it again a second time. It'll update it, though, if there are changes. So I'm going to click the Finish button, and we'll see that no new records were created. They still have the IDs 405 to 409, which you'll notice that, that this last record added that word edited in the file, and now it's there. So importing with the CSV importer gives you the option to update records, and you can run it multiple times without creating new records. That's a, a key difference between that and the existing XML option in the existing ClearQuest import wizard. So that's it for the demo. I hope this helps you out and I hope you find it useful. Thank you.